But to me, it feels as though day one of the main event is like <laughs> the Flop Ascent Basics. Championship. Everybody is trying to see the flop with pocket pairs. Yeah, it's true. Some some suited aces as well, trying to make the nut flush. But it makes sense. If you're so deep, you want to make very strong hands. Um, Yeah, another pocket pair here. Also interesting to see the three bet with deuces there. We're seeing some really aggressive play here so far. Oh yeah, I missed the three bet. Yeah, that, that's aggressive. And and Helmuth does code call here after the three bet. Tries to hit a six here. I mean, you almost have to four bet here with Jonello. There it is. Okay, so we've seen three four bets <laughs> in like 25 minutes on day one of the main. <clears throat> this table is action. Yeah, this one seems pretty reasonable with the queens and Ooh. now deuces in a bit of a bad spot. So he gets out of the way now. Helmuth has to decide, does he get the right price here to try and set mine? If he puts his opponent on a very strong hand. He's thinking about, does he get the whole stack maybe if he flops a six? If he does, he's getting the right price. He'd rather play small ball probably. Wow, look at Helmuth investing a lot of chips early here with a small pocket pair. 20k in the middle, here comes the flop. Oh, oh my wow. god! Five, six, seven. Helmy flops a set. Joe Nello with the overpair. We can see some early fireworks here. Still a very coordinated flop. How would you play this if you're Joe Nello and how do you assess Helmy's range? Yeah, this is very interesting after the cold call and then calling the four bet. Um, I think Joe you might think that Helmy has a lot of like nines, tens, jacks. Maybe he could have expected Helmy to fold a hand like, like fives or sixes. So I'm very curious what's going to happen here. Phil is going to slow play here, like pretend to have like nines, or he's going to raise it up right there. Wow, Helmut comes with a raise to 20k here right away. Of course, Helmut assessing that Jornello probably has exactly the type of hand that he has right now, aces, kings, or queens, given his preflop four bet. Jornello probably thinking Helmut might have jacks or tens. Yeah, or maybe maybe, maybe diamonds, um, although he has the queen of diamonds himself. and. Calls kind of quickly, and there's the nine on the turn. Another very scary card here now for Giornello. Now eight speed him, nine speed him. Helmuth probably still thinks he has the best hand though after the four bet. He's probably putting his opponent on high cards. High Mid pair like queens or kings or like ace king of diamonds. Fifteen. There's no reason for Helmuth to put an eight into Giornello's range. Probably not. I mean, he. Could have four bet with a hand like ace eight suited, eight seven suited, but it seems very unlikely compared to to hands like kings and queens and aces. And this is very scary. Now Phil is representing a better hand than tens or jacks. So now he's in bluff catching mode. If he wants to continue. He has the Queen of Diamonds, so it's less likely that Phil is on the flush draw here. Wow. Donnie, if you were to put the line at the biggest pot Helmut would play today, I would have probably taken the under on 75k. Yes, for sure. I mean, he, he plays very close to the best overall on day one. Absolutely massive spot here right away. And Jonello makes the call for 15k. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a massive pot developing. The river card is the five of spades. Beautiful for Mr. Helmuth. Yeah, he loves that card for sure. Now he beats all the straights. Flush doesn't get there. Pot is already so big, 90,000 in the middle, only 24k behind. Eighteen six. 
18-6. Helmut betting almost all of his chips here on the river. I was going to say, does he go all in? Because Helmut is always talking about how he never gets all in in the main event. So is there some crazy world where John Anello goes all in and Helmut folds? Not, I mean, not, I can't imagine that it's happening, but we've seen crazy stuff out of Phil before. I mean, this would be a crying call to get check raised all in, but with this much money in the middle, you really, really can't fold your full house. And of course, there is really no way to put an under the gun razor who then four bet onto a range of hands that connects with this board. Yeah, I agree. And yeah, for Johnello, the spot is <laughs> terrible, of course. He's getting such a good price now. Such a small bet. Wow, the call is made. Helmut shows his full house and wins an absolutely enormous pot here. Wow. He might just walk up and go home. <laughs> He's done for the day.